Hello and uh, welcome to a very special program live from Retomoto Studios uh, here in Copenhagen. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Ask Me Anything session with our game... Uh, not, no, I, I was about to say game director. Our commander You're too in used chief, to work with Reto uh, yeah, uh, Redborn. Yeah. Commander-in-Chief, CEO, uh, Generalissimo, <coughs> uh, Reto JM, and I will, will be your host, Reto Gargamel. Um, so we uh, released on last uh, was it last Friday a uh, letter from Jean-Marc, uh, who <coughs> basically concluded with an invitation to come and uh, participate if you have any uh, follow-up questions. Uh, so here's your opportunity to ask them. Uh, I guess I'll let you uh, uh, sure. do a little quick intro. <coughs> Thank you, uh, uh, Reto Gargamel. <coughs> I'm losing my voice, that's not a good start. Um, I think we're going to do uh, 30, 45 minutes or until we run out of questions, whatever comes first. Uh, and as a, <coughs> oh my God, <coughs> as a reminder, um, I'm probably more comfortable answering questions about uh, strategy, both for the game and, uh, and for the company. Uh, so if you want to get the best use of your time, uh, ask me questions uh, about these subjects. However, it's an MAA, so ask me anything. Uh, feel free to ask me anything, basically. And uh, if, when you ask your <coughs> questions, um, I would ask you to please, please be so kind as to tag me. Just type A, uh, commercial A, and, and then Reto. And anyway, you'll get it as the first suggestion. Uh, so type at Reto Gargamel, so you'll get uh, your question highlighted on my screen. This way we can keep track of who said what. Um, we're, uh, make sure we're ready <laughs> whenever you... Whenever you are. Anything came up already? Yeah. Um, I guess I just want to see if we have... Uh, yeah, we have quite a few more viewers than a few minutes ago. Oh, well, actually, uh, there's already a question uh, where... Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, though. R2GY uh, is asking, uh, when is the new update? Uh, <coughs> so... New update, um, which one? Uh, we uh, plan to do uh, multiple for the rest of uh, 2018, as you know. Um, short answer, um, every month we're going to get something, uh, rather uh, large or small, uh, alternatively. Uh, we are planning to do some uh, patches and uh, some releases that we are planning initially in June that had to be pushed in July to be polished. So some things you're going to get in, uh, in July are pretty cool. Uh, and then in August, uh, we're planning to release the uh, vehicle update, which is uh, one of our major uh, update of the year. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, for the rest, I, will, uh, I would recommend that you take a look at the, um, how do you call that? The production update? Development, development update. Yeah. Development uh, overview. Development overview, sorry, yes. which is available for the community on the, on the website. Yeah, and that one we do update uh, pretty much. Monthly. Uh, yeah, monthly, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is as close to real time. Next. <laughs> so uh, uh, actually, now I have a few questions. I guess I'll go. I'll, I'll start from the top. Um, there's uh, Kyrie six two six is asking. Can you describe the strategy Reto will adopt in developing the strategy game? Ah, in the RTS. So I I can talk about the strategy in general uh, of the game and of the company. Um, the strategy game in particular, I can't go too deep. I think it's more for uh, Reto Redbound to uh, discuss about this. It's, uh, it's his subject design, etc. But what I can say is that we are uh, intending to put uh, the strategic layer of the game as a, as a centerpiece, have more importance in the game. Uh, you will see that in the UI. You will see that in uh, new features that we will release in the strategic uh, game uh, this year. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a freestyler asking uh, when, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, are there new big maps in progress? Yes. Next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can we're can, working on yeah. uh, at least three maps, I think, right now. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I think so, right? I mean, it's, yeah. they, are, they are basically a combination of, uh, uh, of things we're doing, but uh, yes, we'll, you'll see more maps and at least one big, right. probably more. Um, then we have uh, a virtual reality farmer asking, mm -hmm. uh, when do we get plane update 2.0 or plane 2.0? Ah, I don't know what plane 2.0 is, but uh, <coughs> do you guys know what he it's, refers to? It's not as such a, uh, you know, it's, it's not a thing in itself yet. We, we you know, we called something uh, squad 2.0 and then uh, Bjarne 
went and called the vehicle update Armor 2.0 at some mm -hmm, point, and mm -hmm. that stuck, even though it's not just about armor. So, no, it's so not. Then, then there's somebody asking, uh, what about what about planes 2.0? Um, that I don't think has taken shape I, yet. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if there are specific requests about yeah. uh, planes uh, mm -hmm. gameplay that uh, we are not capturing yet, I would encourage uh, what is it, virtual reality farmer? Yes. Uh, to uh, start a thread in uh, the forums about it and uh, we can address uh, and see how we can prioritize this in the roadmap if it has not been done already. Mm. Uh, <coughs> Kerberos209 is asking, could you make sure that the heavy fighter statistics are made public as soon as possible? These have been promised to us for a long time ah. and with uh, Operation Glasnost you had you have had more than enough opportunities to show them to us. Uh, he's talking ah. about the uh, heavy fighter planes. But you're right, yeah. what are we doing? Uh, I guess there was the, the, the whole question of, uh, in the strategy game again, uh, people deploying uh, heavy fighters, heavy tanks, the way the pooling was done, uh, at some point there was essentially a, a, a bug in the way the, the rewards were distributed. Uh, the rewards were basically not uh, evenly spread out among different types of vehicles mm -hmm. because uh, they were pulled together. So if there was, but uh, without even know, uh, without getting into details, details, I think this uh, is related. I'm not uh, capable to yeah. judge. What I know is that, or the is team it related? I mean, if, if it's not related, please yeah, we we'll follow it, up yeah. if it's yes, not related. But question, generally yeah. speaking, yeah. what I can answer is that I know the team has been sharing already some stats. Yeah, uh, and that we want to continue to share stats. Yeah. I think it's very important because most of the time on forums we argue <clears throat> about opinions and uh, without facts. And I think it's very important for you guys to have access to as much data as we can share with you, specifically uh, weapon stats, vehicle stats. So uh, can we make a point to follow up on yes, that could, uh, and maybe give uh, an idea of whether this is something we can share rapidly or not? Uh, and then we'll get back uh, to you in a, in a PM or as a maybe more as a as a form uh, thread. There might be already uh, form threads dedicated to uh, could data uh, sharing. Yeah, yeah. but um, we'll follow up on that. It could be that the answer is already out there. Um, I, I remember it's it's a long time ago, and I think it was here on Twitch. Yeah. Somebody was. Well, if we about promised it, it means that yeah. we were, at that point we thought yeah. we were capable to deliver it. Yeah. So we should get back on it and deliver what we promised. I don't know if I. Um, I guess I'll, I'll take all the questions I encounter and uh, yeah, take them at some uh, point. One by one, yeah. So Tabanox123 is asking uh, if there would be a new faction, which one would it be? <laughs> Again, more of a question for uh, yeah. Retro Red Barn. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Uh, we're not focusing on uh, preparing a, a new faction or a new sub-faction or anything like this for now. Mm. <clears throat> but uh, we definitely want to do it at some point. So that's all I can, uh, I can say. I know it's not the answer you wanted, but... Uh, uh, if there are, if there is a thread about uh, uh, about factions somewhere in the in the forum, maybe we can uh, we can start asking the players what they would like to mm. see, and maybe capture that. That would be good. Um, now there's people asking a question directly to me. I, I'll, I'll, I'll skip that one because it's really uh, JMs. <laughs> JMs yeah, ask me anything. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's not ask you anything. It's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have uh, da, 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 a guy called Sigvard asking, uh, "Can we have?" Oh, hold on. There was a oh. question up there. Can you just call up? Which one? Do you play the game by yourself? That yes, I do. No, that was to me. <laughs> but no, hey, if you, if I'm you not play. sure if it was you. I mean, he, he sent it to oh, you, but he meant it? it for me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So yes, I, I, it's I do play. Uh, the game myself, uh, not as much as I would like to, uh, but I do enjoy the game a lot. Uh, I play every week, um, multiple times a week. Um, uh, I think uh, on live, uh, people spot me uh, once in a while and they're not very nice with me. I get shot in the head very quickly, <laughs> but uh, that's how you learn, I guess. There was another question after that. I can't read it, so it's too far. No, it I'm just says, old. please direct your questions to. Oh. That, that, that's also what confused me. It's the first time I, I see everything All highlighted. Right. And, and <laughs> so the question was not for me. Uh, Sigval is asking, can we have bot players in the prototype servers so that we could test uh, the new updates without human players? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did we uh, think about that at some point? Not that I'm aware of, but... Uh... I think we may have... <clears throat> but it's a good suggestion to uh, kind of populate the, uh, the prototype server or the test server. Mm -hmm. um, so we can test when we don't have enough population there. Or that the games at least can start. Because that's yeah, the thing, is start, sometimes yeah. it's just waiting for, for enough for players others. to yeah, be no, there. I get so. that. 
Yeah. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Mm. I think we have some simple AI uh, in the game that we could maybe put there. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we should follow up. Anyone okay. capturing that? Good. Uh, do, 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 do. There's a, another question from uh, R2GY. Uh, will you ever fix the interface bug with objectives fading? Because that bug is so annoying. Uh, again, if you ask about specific bugs, JM is probably the last person yeah. <coughs> to have the information. I don't know the yeah. number of that specific bug, I'm yes. sorry. But um, there's a lot of UI fixes that are coming. Yeah. So, um, and, uh, uh, and send, send me a support ticket about that one. I think I might know what the deal is. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, <coughs> this is a little bit off topic in this case. Um, Okay, there's some things here that are like not formulated as questions. Uh, Standard of localization is is depends on number of players. players. That's not that doesn't Next. look like a question. Yeah, Next, we don't, I'm sorry, uh, we're we gonna, don't understand. We're going to focus on sorry. the question. Question. Please reformulate. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Uh, again. Uh, this is well, it's, it's kind of customary. City map, yeah, it's uh, customary for people to ask I've about heard, this. I've heard. I've yeah. heard the team talking about it. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think it's in the plan for 2018, uh, but we want to do it. Uh, again, probably not the answer you were looking for, but we want to do it. Mm. Probably not in 18, though. What's next? Next question from Freestyler. Can you talk about the progress of the tank versus tank gameplay? Uh, and that is the uh, tank versus tank. Uh, we've already maps. talked with the community about that. Uh, not recently. Mm. Uh, on the development overview, you can see that since the last uh, uh, time we updated it, it's put us on hold. Uh, yeah. I think because we, we got fairly far <laughs> into that process, but then uh, we, we figured it would be better to prioritize other features and, and, and make sure that that one, uh, again, I guess we wanted to have the vehicle update already in place before we had people testing yeah. the, the tank versus tank game. I think that's, that's exactly what and, I wanted and, to and say. And, uh, yeah, so. I think we need to figure out yeah. uh, how you guys can enjoy the game even more, how we can fix all the things we need to fix and improve the things we need to improve. And uh, so you can enjoy the game all together before we can create class specific or vehicle specific uh, maps or launch uh, or release those maps. Mm -hmm. That's set what, what you said, basically. Um, then we have, uh, <coughs> uh, well, how do you pronounce that? IGN, oh yeah, IGN. IGN Zuko is asking, uh, have you considered the fact, uh, I guess it means the possibility to remove scopes from infantry so we don't have the sniper fiesta in every match? Um, <laughs> That's a little detailed, but I think that uh, our infantry soldiers already have, as far as I understand, uh, access to less um, uh, sniper weaponry than the recon soldiers themselves. So, uh, I mean, uh, you know, if you want to snipe guys, just use a recon soldier. That's all, you know, if you're infantry, you should be uh, doing, uh, you know, should have assault weapons and uh, try to get in the, I mean, that's what it's done for that's what i would recommend so mm. and uh, if there is any balancing we need to do and we take it very seriously we will um, mm. uh, i think uh, part of the content releases we want to do this year will uh, should please uh, uh, you know every class and soldiers so it's very defined in what they're supposed to do with uh, their weaponry or what their goal should be on the on the ground mm. Um, again, there's another question from the same player, uh, IGN Zuko. Uh, why is the Armor 2.0 update, and again, it's called Vehicle 2.0, why is it pushed back and instead you just added an Eastern map and yep. not so useful transport vehicle? So IGN the, Zuko, the tractor. thank you for your question. Uh, I think it's important to understand that uh, the, the people in the team uh, that are working on maps uh, are not the same people as those who are working on vehicle updates and uh, hit maps, uh, sorry, uh, hit boxes, aiming, uh, and this type of stuff. So we're kind of working in parallel on those. It's two different type of updates, and uh, they are on different timelines. They have different dependencies. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but basically, um, you know, most of the time when we take a decision to push back something, it's not because we like it or because we like something better than other, it's because we just can't do it before certain other things. So uh, we gave you visibility with the uh, development update um, for a reason, is to try to give you a kind of a, a window into that level of complexity that we're dealing with. 
you know, you'd have to be working, <coughs> sorry, you'd have to be working in the game industry or, or in at least in project management to understand that, uh, you know, shit happen. And uh, also there's a vast level of complexity when you deal with uh, engineers, artists, designers, and a lot of other uh, groups of people who have to work together and deliver something together, all the way to QA uh, that brings bugs back to you that you have to fix, etc. It is complex. So the reason why we push those things is because it made more sense for us to finish something before something else, basically. Most, most of the time, it, it, this is the reason. Hmm. And we are, we are getting better at uh, project management. So you'll see less of those uh, surprises where we promise something to you at a specific kind of uh, uh, moment uh, in time, and then we kind of come back to you and say, ah, it's going to take longer, but we'll release that instead. You'll see less of that, more predictability in the future as we're getting better at uh, working together and improving our workflows and pipelines. Next one, uh, Love Wavy is asking, how will you improve the game, uh, the team play? Sorry. Uh, by team play, uh, do you mean social gameplay? I'm assuming. I would assume you. Yeah. Uh, I can't speak into the details of this, but we have a track for 2018 where we are going to improve social play, uh, which means like you know improving uh, finding friends, finding people, uh, understanding better what your uh, friends or people who, who are playing with you. Uh, um, did or how they performed in the match versus you. Um, you know, this is what you're talking about. This is what we, we are going to promote that uh, more. Mm. Um, and if it was something else, please uh, specify. Mm -hmm. um, I, there's uh, uh, Chris Taylor, the Chris Taylor, not just any Chris oh, Taylor. Oh, the Chris Taylor. The Chris Taylor is uh, yeah, basically honored. clarifying, I think, on the, the, the question about scopes. He says, do you think, personally, infantry scopes are the reason why players camp and don't play the objectives? Because that... that, that, that do is, I think that? Yeah. I mean, when <laughs> I play, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't have that problem, but I don't play as much as you do, so I guess that's why. That's, that's but, an uh, issue to no, bring up. Know. Yeah. That, that's an know. issue that does come up a lot. Uh, that's probably also why people are asking, like, yeah. would you stop the camper fiesta? Is because it's it's there are but, yeah. fairly uh, easily available uh, in scopes for infantry. So I guess mm -hmm. this is what some players think is that they're too easily available yeah, or yeah. they're too they're too widespread. Their their use is way uh, way too widespread. So yeah, but, we we'll uh, look into yeah. that from a balancing standpoint, as yeah. I said. But um, yeah. I, I don't think I'm super qualified to make a precise comments on uh, mm -hmm. on these things. I'm sorry. Uh, the Christella. I'm sorry. Uh, so then the next one would be Wehrmacht 1941. Uh, can, uh, Wehrmacht 1941. Can you please uh, look into the heavy fighter balance? Uh, and, and I think this is what, yeah. what the, 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 the whole question about stats was about. Uh, he, well, the P38, which he calls the OP38, yeah. is overperforming. Because, because he's overperforming, so <laughs> yes, it's exactly. the OP48. For, for 38. more than a year now. Uh, so that is why Did we I release the stats on those? Uh, not yet, I think so. So let's release the stats, yeah. I think. Hopefully the team can commit mm. to releasing the stats on that and then mm. we'll look at it together. And if we, mm. <coughs> if we all still feel that uh, there is a problem or mm. uh, uh, some weapon that is uh, overpowered, we'll fix it. I think, the, 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 again, if I can uh, jump in for that one, the uh, P38 is, is very visible because we uh, had it as the starter airplane for the American faction for mm -hmm. a long time. And it's not in the same class, if you want. It's a heavy fighter. And the other yeah. factions had medium fighters as their startup airplane. Uh, so we had that as it, you know, as is for, I don't think uh, uh, it was, I think it was three years, something mm -hmm. like that, from beta. Mm -hmm. And then when we started adding new planes, then we redid the whole progression so that the, you know, players uh, would unlock a different starter plane. And f that means like for a long time, everybody who played during beta and played on the US side and you know, got a pilot, they had one of the you know, uh, heavy uh, fighter planes right directly. away. But we also, <clears throat> we changed uh, probably the vehicle stats along the way also. So yeah. it, it's just that now there's, there's more of it. Okay. It's, it's just more readily available, so that probably also biases the the picture in general. That people just see it a lot. That plane we should release more planes, then, right? Or, or time will fix it, as in eventually yeah, there will be time. pilots flying all kinds of different. Uh, like, all right. But anyway, um, then there's virtual reality farmer saying, "I miss Red Brianna's beard." Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't so compete with uh, Red Brianna with the, the beard. I'm sorry. 
Yes. Um, Kerberos209 is asking, uh, where do you see your company in two years? That's a good question. Um, I think for us, uh, in two years as a company, I would like to see us uh, performing with Retos and Gen with, with, with uh, Heroes and Generals, Reto and General, that's an interesting name, <laughs> uh, with Heroes and Generals, uh, not only on PC, but also on other platforms and in more uh, geographies. Uh, and by performing, I mean that the players would be uh, super happy playing it and we have more players playing it. Uh, but also uh, work on uh, another game, uh, another service uh, within uh, that time period. I think that would be uh, great for us and for the players who love what we do. Uh, and there's a follow-up question by the same guy. Uh, when will the dev stream start again? Um, I don't have a definite when uh, it's being looked into. We are looking into a new formula, maybe. Yeah. So uh, We all wish yeah. it was already uh, back on, but uh, yes. we're just short of resources right now. We can't do it. Yes. We'll figure it out soon. All right. Soon. Um, what do we have next? And now there's a player whose name I cannot pronounce. It's uh, How do you solve the problems in Asia? Yes, uh, Mr. 9487. <coughs> what are the problems in what Asia? What are the do problems have in to, Asia? Do we have to yeah, yeah. solve problems in Asia? I don't know. Can you uh, specify? Next. Yes, please. Um, and uh, what's highlighted it's, it seems that no that's the same one we just read okay uh, when, when you when you're tagging uh, just make sure to type the name with uh, with an underscore otherwise it doesn't highlight um, okay so from so Demis 1987 does Rito acknowledge uh, Germany domination in, in victories, victories. In war and stage battle as a problem so, so uh, if I can like, read it a lot. Now, do you acknowledge germ German domination and victories both in war and stage battles as a problem? Don't you think the new players in other factions quit or join Germany just to have a chance to enjoy the game? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I play uh, multiple faction. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I've been hearing so many things about like uh, faction and imbalance and faction balance. And, you know, it depends on who wins the war. So... Um, I don't know. Uh, we talked about this subject at the last um, Twitch session that we did uh, together, where I, ha where I had some questions uh, prepared by the community. And what we agreed on is that we take balancing very seriously. And uh, currently, we don't have evidence uh, that there is any faction that is overbalanced, uh, overpowered uh, uh, over another. Um, certainly, th every faction enjoys different type of uh, advantages and challenges. Uh, that can't be matched directly one-to-one -one, um, for many reasons, but uh, I, I don't have the perception uh, that uh, there is a, uh, a vast majority of players who would only want to play uh, Germany to, uh, to enjoy the game. That's not, uh, and the data is not showing that neither. So uh, if I have specific like, facts or data that... that uh, support that argument uh, we should definitely mm. take a look at it analyze it but um, otherwise it's just a question of uh, where the wind blows it feels mm. sorry that's my personal opinion okay. yes I think there are questions to put down. oh there, there are plenty of questions yeah. but i just don't want to miss uh, there, there was one uh, no it wasn't a question uh, Okay. Let's keep on the balance because I can't yeah, really answer yeah, yeah, uh, those yeah. questions. Uh, it's more for uh, Red yeah. Red Barn anyway. There's, there's, there's also people saying, uh, this is a, I know this is a common question, but you really need to nerf the... Uh, <laughs> this is not a question. <laughs> so we're going to skip everything. Yeah. Everything that says nerf this and nerf yeah. that is not a question. It's not a question. We, we, we can't answer it. You can only answer. ask yeah. me any question. Yes. Just questions. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, Take the This is not a question. Red. Yeah, the next one is this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, Matt Airborne is asking, would, uh, would the new render have less stress on the CPU, stopping it from overheating? Uh, will, uh, again, will the new render uh, method... So, I'm, saying, I'm thinking that he's referring to the uh, physically based, physically based yeah, rendering. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking it probably has less stress on the GPU than the CPU, but... Uh, yeah, well, uh, I think I don't. I don't know, but in general, uh, yeah. we noticed um, a slight improvement uh, in performance when um, on uh, this last map we released uh, uh, Kotor mm. um, due to the the PBR optimization. 
uh, we need to to do more uh, mm. uh, you know of, of these uh, to understand exactly what the uh, uh, full impact is on the game but it feels like uh, it, it, it's it's improving the game and and, and therefore the game performance and therefore mm -hmm. the CPU stress, I guess. But if your CPU is overheating, then uh, I mean, yeah, I'm again, not sure if it's it, the game. It, it uh, could be it's not the game at all. Because, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Is the CPU overheating only with Heroes and Generals? Yeah. If then, uh, please send a ticket yeah. uh, to support. We could look uh, at we'll, this. We'll take a look at it. Um, uh, okay, so we have a, a, a clarification you, to the, the question about the. Uh, so the, the player, uh, Mr. 9487, is saying in Asia, sometimes there's uh, connection instability. Yes. So uh, we are addressing this. I can't mm -hmm. speak to the details of this uh, because it hasn't been done yet. But we are uh, improving our server hosting uh, partnerships um, everywhere in the world, uh, but uh, also in Asia. So you should see uh, uh, you know, improvements between the July and early August time frame, the latest. Mm. And there's a Ciro Imbobile who's asking, can you pocheremia cat moi bibi? Um, da. Which means? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I probably okay. read something vulgar. <laughs> in, in out loud. Sorry. <laughs> we sorry. didn't mean to. Yeah, we didn't mean to. Uh, uh, français. Je, je, I can read that one if yeah, you Yeah, the next one. Oh, you yes. can too. Yeah, I yeah. forgot you speak French as well. But il existe des serveurs spécial pour les Français. Oh, oh, it's in English after that. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Are there, there any special servers for the French? Uh, Asked by Mr. I uh, don't COC think Sweden. we are supporting uh, specific language-based uh, mm. servers, right? No, it's you. You for your benefit, you match with other players based on your ping, so you have the best connection possible to play with other players, not based on language. Mm. And um, I think again, if we had better social features, which we will very soon, you would be able to pick up your best French friends. Uh, and play with them, regardless of uh, their ping. That, that would be possible. But right now, it's a little bit more complicated uh, to, I think, to find your friends and, mm. and f or friend people who are French or whatever. Mm. So we'll, we'll, we'll make it uh, easier so you can set up your own uh, uh, or start your own game with, uh, with friends that are French, if, if it's your choice. Yes. Um, Next question uh, from Kyrie626. Uh, can you describe the extra investment Rito will make in the uh, strategy game? For example, the uh, tech server upgrade has been listed in the development overview uh, as in progress for many months now. Will you be hiring additional programmers? Oh, there's multiple questions there. Um, so the RT, RT, RTS uh, itself, uh, the features, I can't talk to them uh, personally, but on the server side, uh, I know that uh, this refactor that we are doing or upgrade of the server side, which will allow us to uh, code more features on the strategy side, is moving along really well. Uh, we are well over 50% done. Uh, and uh, I hope, uh, I think we will be done uh, by the end of the summer. Um, I don't want to promise anything, but I, I have my, my hopes really high on this. Then uh, you asked if we were hiring more programmers. Uh, we already did, um, and we are extending our partnerships with other companies uh, to uh, increase um, uh, the number of uh, programmers that we can have working on our games. So we're working with other companies who have programmers, and we will be able to lend us their resources um, to increase our velocity. We're having a hard time recruiting. Uh, as you know, engineers are uh, in demand uh, everywhere. And um, I guess, I don't know if it's because Denmark is a small country, but uh, there are a lot of engineers here, but they're all very busy, apparently. So, But we are trying hard to, uh, to hire the right people. Next question. Um, Adam3Jazz is asking, when can we expect to see the new uh, Tier 3 fighter planes? And are we ever getting bombers? Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. Does anyone know? Uh, two, not, three fighter planes, I think, are in the, the pipeline. They're in the pipeline somewhere. So it's coming in 18. Bombers. Uh, Bombers. I we talked about this, but know, uh, yeah. I don't think it's going to be ready by uh, the end of 18. But no. we have that in the pipe as well. But it's more of a longer yeah. uh, plan. We have so much to do. We can't do everything at once. Sorry, guys. I remember when the uh, tail gunner feature was being worked on, uh -huh. there was a, a model of a plane that was not a fighter plane. 
Uh -huh. Very, very rudimentary, <laughs> very like no textures, no nothing, but uh -huh. it looked like a bomb. Like something else. Yeah. It looked like it. So, so yeah, I guess it's there somewhere. It's we just have yes. to prioritize yeah, it at some yeah. point when we can. Yeah. Um, how do <laughs> virtual reality farmer wants to get that? Uh, around over there how do i get that well you have to you have to buy it man you have to buy it. Uh, mr virtual farmer we had to purchase it and it's a uh, it's a um, how, do you, how do, you, do you say that it's, it's a, a prop it's right it's a prop yeah it's not a real one we don't have any real gun Actually, around does the it, it doesn't come with the i think we added the the orange bits yeah so but it is a prop just to That's underline the point. that it's a prop it's just a yeah. prop you can see the orange stuff yeah so it's probably, I mean, there's all kinds of uh, military websites that sell replicas and, uh, yeah. and stuff like that. So um, so still from Mr. 9487, uh, do you want to develop battlefields in other areas? Do we want to? Yes. Uh, are we doing it now? No. Um, I think it's going to probably be more for uh, 2019 uh, to add um, other areas. We discussed, I think... Uh, it's not uh, news that we were thinking of uh, North Africa or extending at least to the mm. south of Europe a little bit more. Um, and um, of course, other um, theater of combat uh, mm. like the Pacific, etc. is very exciting to us. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, not now, not in 18. Uh, still from Kerberos 209, with the new clan system, will there be a Rito clan? Hey, the questions are... are Rito clan. The questions are like... <coughs> off my screen now as in as in this is the this is the the oldest history at the top of the screen i so what is the question again uh i can't read it anymore it's gone <laughs> will there be a reto clan a reto clan i yes. don't know why not yeah yes. let's do it yeah <laughs> uh okay i'm gonna i'm gonna start skipping a little bit because there's some questions that like jean cannot answer uh, uh about for example you do the moderation yeah, yes i'll do that uh, Okay, there's a Kuss number 40 who asks, uh, standard of localization is dependent on number of players. I guess he means l the choice of what languages we are localizing in. Are they dependent ah. on the number of players? Uh, oh, on the opportunity? Yeah. Well, I think we already have nine languages, so uh, mm. there's plenty. Uh, is there any specific mm. language that uh, this specific mm. player would like to see that uh, mm. he doesn't see? But yes, to answer your question, in general, yeah, that's how you make a decision to localize. Localization has a cost. You need to be able to reach a, a number of players that is uh, big enough to justify that cost. Mm. Uh, Soft Claws is asking, when will you add uh, bicycle camouflage? <laughs> that's funny. Bicycle camouflage. Ah, we should put that on the list. That's a good, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, why not? Mm. There's a question from uh, Mr. TPD from Denmark. Uh, will we see some more and or new types of uh, um, modifiers? It means weapon upgrades for the different weapons to make our uh, weapon play more unique. Uh, I do. Do we? Ah, uh, I think I've heard about that. Is there anything else coming? Do you know, guys? No, not not, not, not right now. Not this year then. Hmm. Uh, Nesnanov is asking, please, but again, <laughs> please add interactive player profiles. So the answer. What did, be, was it mean, interactive player profiles? Uh, I guess he uh, actually can public please, profile, yeah, public profiles. That's where we're we're headed. We're from. adding yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah, I mean, when I say soon, it's coming really soon. Really soon, right? It's basically where where um, where is it in the is it in the uh, uh, developer uh, development update? Somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere, yeah. Okay, we'll get back to you on this one. But it, it, I know it's working, it's being worked on. Yes. Uh, Mr. Belguin is asking, uh, uh, it says hi from Berlin. Uh, what are the things you're personally looking forward to adding to the game? Personally? Let me think about that. Um, well, there's two things that come to my mind. One, the uh, UI updates that we're going to do. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, we're going to do them gradually, but uh, the end result is going to be really good for all of us who are playing the game. because It's going to be streamlined. You'll have less levels in the UI, so you'll be able to access things faster. Uh, it's going to be better performing uh, and get to the game faster, basically. So that I'm really excited about it. And I'm also excited about this new uh, timeline for us, which is to release content 
and features uh, more uh, regularly, so have a little bit more predictability on what comes next, uh, features and content, so more maps, uh, more vehicles, more weapons, etc. And that's exciting because it's more variety, more flavor to the game. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's the two things that can come to mind on that one. Uh, care, care profile is in early development. So, yeah. so the public player profile is in early development. So it is being worked on. Cool. Yes. Um, next question is from Love Wavy. Uh, will you add more players in the war, like 32 versus 32 or 64 versus 64? I don't say, I mean, that, in my mind, that would require a major rebalancing of the maps, right? Or redesign of the, of the maps to address that, at least that. Um, but um, yeah, and tech dev, of course, yeah. But that's yeah. Uh, that's a given. But uh, it starts with the design. How do you accommodate uh, 32 by 32 or 64 by 64? It's interesting, though. Mm. It's not a focus of us right now, so I can't uh, tell you. Yeah, we're working mm. on it or whatever. We'll, we'll see in uh, 2019 if we want to tackle that. But that's interesting. Mm. Um. Well, there's another question from Kerberos209. Um, why are some things not adapted for historical reasons, but in other things, the history is completely ignored? I could also provide examples. Uh, please provide examples. Yeah, but <laughs> even b without examples, I see what you mean. We have this question in our mind mm. all the time. It's about making a game. It's not about doing a, a HBO documentary about war. So... We are in between the two, right? We don't want to be vastly inaccurate and, and be like, come on, guys, like this is not World War II. But at the same time, we don't want to be so precise that it's not fun anymore. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, you know, if you go too much into strategy, not strategy, but uh, in, in the details of things exactly as it, ha as it happened, that's not us. That's yeah. not what we do. Uh, we do a first-person shooter with a strategic layer and a, and a, uh, and a war mm. system, which is already a lot. Um, and um, we are striking a balance between fun and uh, uh, you know f a foundation of what happened or what was mm. available in World War Two. There's a, there's an example that Radbiana likes to give. It's the uh, the MG42. It's in reality it's a cheaper version of the MG34. Mm -hmm. It's just made with less materials and, mm -hmm. and faster it's it's it's, it's mm -hmm. made with basically cheaper production techniques yeah, it's but, improved for but it, it's, a, it's a convention that it's the deadliest and it's, it's a convention mm -hmm. that it's the heaviest machine gun in any game because that's just what people are expecting yeah so we you know who are we to fight against that i mean yeah. people expect that weapon to be amazing so mm -hmm. but uh, again it's a uh, it's really it's not because we want to do a documentary like yeah our goal is not to be uh, yeah 100 percent historically accurate mm -hmm. uh, we're yeah. trying to be uh not crazy about uh, you know not make mistakes you know we're not mm -hmm. going to give uh, i don't know u.s weapons to the russians or to the soviets or whatever or vice versa we're trying to be uh, careful about this but mm -hmm. uh that's that's where it stops more or less. Mm. Um, so do, 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 do. It's called now. Next, yes. Uh, Kickassinator, excellent name. Uh, once mission critical tasks are done, what are your plans to attract new players? Do you feel the changes you are making are enough to attract new players? <laughs> uh, so the mission critical uh, projects, uh, there are some that are going to stay forever, but they're going to be like. Uh, like ongoing updates or changes that w are planned and not too uh, daunting for the team um, and others that have already been done uh, like uh, the integration of battle eye as a, an anti-cheat system for example mm. or um, so there's the distinction of those two tasks uh, or those two projects in particular that are important that is important then of course it's not the only thing the reason why we prioritize this is because without this we can't do anything else. So that's why the team spent most of their time at the beginning of 2018 and even uh, late 2017 working on those uh, mission critical uh, projects because without them, if we try to do anything else, we are not going to do it well. It's going to take more time. Uh, we are not going to be able to be predictable at the way we release the, uh, features etc. So now that we have more and more time every week that passes by, out of the uh, mission critical uh, projects, we can start working on what you want, which is features and content, right? 
So in that sense, yeah, I think we're going to do enough over time uh, to get back on track and, and be capable to release what uh, you guys are, are expecting. More and more so every month that passes by now. Um, then uh, we have uh, the questions are just going away too fast now. Uh, Unlucky Gaming Greece, uh, this is not a question. Okay, Emba is asking: Is the reason is there a reason why we cannot aim down the sights on the Stuck and a German heavy plane as a secondary gunner? Do you guys know? Uh, yes, because on the uh, he knows. Wait a minute, uh, I'm down the sides on a Stuck. My all mounted machine guns, they, they, they basically the precision aiming is, is with the you have the iron sights, but you don't, you don't, you don't because it's not shouldering, you're not shouldering the, the, the weapon on any of the mounted weapons. So I'm not sure, unless if, if, if you mean that they behave really differently from other mounted weapons uh, and you think it's a bug, then treat it as a bug yep. and send a report to the bug hunters. Uh, with screenshots, please, if it's possible. All right. Um, Mr. Next. Porthor is asking, can we see a system where the experience earned is cut for highly skilled uh, or endgame players against less skilled players in stage battles? So I guess um, he means a system where, where there's a there's He wants a, a system of fairness, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to do better in terms of uh, matchmaking, the mm -hmm. right groups. That's acknowledged uh, for the moment, as we don't have uh, that system upgraded we decided to um, take the risk to match more people that are kind of uh, heterogeneous in terms of their levels. Mm. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not fun to, uh, to be destroyed by a team that is uh, uh, way better than you. But, uh, you know, it, it, I think it's better that than we thought it was better that temporarily than making you wait for a very, very long time before you can match. So that's one. Mm. Two, if you look at something to make it more fair when you, when you get matched in general, you talk about stage battle. You know, I would expect those systems, uh, stage versus war, to, to evolve uh, in 2018. So let's let's wait. You, you you will have the chance to take a look at it on the prototype server before we release it and give us your feedback. But mm -hmm. we, we are going to change a little bit those concepts or, or improve those concepts uh, to make the, the game even more fun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another one from Virtual Reality Farmer. Uh, will players be able to help translate the game? Uh, don't we have a system where the players can help translate no. the website and already? The website maybe, but there, there's... Uh, yeah. The website is, uh, yeah. is coming up, uh, yeah. but the in-game, our pipeline doesn't allow for third party. Okay. Yes, so, uh, we, so we, we, have, we get that now. question from time to time, so but is, is it our, because the players they... don't hear his answer. Ah, so okay. we need to repeat it. So, so the, we've had this question quite a couple of times. Uh, the, the, the way the pipeline is set up, is uh, we deal with an external agency that, that we, we send them every update of the game that we have, we send it over to them, they look at all the localization strings and they translate that. And then we, if we ever have bugs or whatever, we get back in touch with them and we say, this is not translated properly. There's some back and forth that's very frequent. And basically these people, they're not volunteers, they're, they're, we have a contract with them and uh, they're professionals. So we know we can disturb them whenever we need a but translation and all that. Is the question yeah. about uh, this user finding our uh, localization off. No, he or... wants a new language. Usually it's people ah, saying, my language, language is not there yet. Tell I us, will, tell us will, what yeah. new language you will want. We'll I, try to prioritize yes. them. Can't make any promise, but uh, we can put that on the list and see if this is something we can do. Yeah. We already have nine, like I said. It's, you, know, you don't have a lot of games with nine mm. languages, I think. Yes. So, it's not bad. Um... I guess I'll, I'll skip the questions about yeah. uh, weapons and uh, uh, Totenkampf uh, number 22 is asking when uh, will the launcher and the action game be in one game as in one window? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, uh, to be honest, but this is a problem we've identified as well and that we want to fix. Yeah. So that's all I can say right now. But um, And there was a question under that that is interesting. Under uh, yes, uh, this one, this one, right? Yeah. Uh, from uh, R2GY. Yeah. Uh, how, how do? I, I'm, uh, oh, okay. The way I understand it is saying yeah. is we won't get any new weapons in 2018. Wrong. Yes. You'll get new weapons in 2018. Yes. Next, uh, Lion LT Lithuania, I guess, is really, really adamant about getting an answer to why are you putting trees in random locations. Uh, that is a level design question. Yes, yes. and uh, yeah. We are looking at trees. Uh, yes. 
we're literally looking at trees. Yeah. Uh, so uh, don't be too upset about the trees. It's going to get better. <laughs> the gardener is coming. Exactly. So, yeah. um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, is asking, the new anti-tank weapons for all factions are confirmed? Question mark. Is this something uh, we communicated with nope, the players yet? No. So it's, it's only on the so. overview. The development Just take overview a look at the says, development overview yeah. and you see what's confirmed yeah. or yes. not right now. Exactly. Uh, if, it's not, if it's not as uh, uh, in testing or, or, you know... But I, I feel he's yeah. on the right track. Yeah. But uh, yeah. <laughs> that's all I will say. Yes. Uh, Idri is asking, why does the Hutor uh, tractor have the T20 engine sound? Uh, if it does... Uh, that's yes, we already... I think I discussed yeah. with uh, Reto Redbound about yeah. this. Um, we'll see what we can do, but it can't be a priority for us. We have a huge amount of things we need to do about sound mm -hmm. in the game. Uh, this is something we could do fast if we had the resources. It's always the same story but uh, sorry but um, yeah we we've identified that yeah. it's kind of a generic sound and or not the proper sound and we'll fix it at some point um, Nestanov is uh, asking um, if you can try to pronounce hutar correctly hutar in russian yes i will <laughs> i will take some hutar. courses thank you uh, nice. Nesdanov. <laughs> um okay uh, uh, then there's uh, C Ericsson, new RTS C, C Ericsson mm -hmm. I guess. When will the new RTS uh, map or system come out? Later this year. Hmm? That's all I can say. There's a lot of dependencies, so it's hard to give you a specific uh, cut date. Uh, David, David Noguera is asking, again, it's not a question. <laughs> yeah, keep I'm sorry, guys, but to the it's not a question, it's not a question. Night night. Uh, R2GY is asking, if you ever add Zeppelins and Camo Caps, uh, oh, will you ever add the, 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 the Camo Caps that you're wearing, this one? The, uh, uh, In the game? Yeah, well, I guess it's a question of time. Yeah, the, I guess, yeah. Uh, that, that's my, my personal... <laughs> it, do, it probably shouldn't protect you as well as, no, a, as no, a helmet. No, no, no but right? uh, when he was asking uh, earlier, like, what, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking for that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, specific. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Next. Uh, Sigval is asking, is it possible to open the open servers with the old rules, with old maps and with physics for 2013? I don't have a time machine, I'm sorry. No. Uh, let's, let's move on uh, to the future and to better things. Yes. Um, then there's Lucifer uh, DKK, uh, who's asking... Uh, uh, it's in German. Okay, yeah, no, it's in Danish. Oh, Kamada, Danish, Kamada, sorry. Kamada and Last Man Standing, Spirit of Fire, Fire, uh, mm -hmm. Last Man Standing as a game mode. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The, they want uh, Last Man so Standing is, as is, a game is there, mode. Is there, Are we going to do a Battle Royale? Is coming basically? called Last Man Standing? We have not uh, planned to do that uh, right now. Right. Next. Uh, da, 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 da. Um... No, this is Academia Games. Yes. No. Actually, Aussie okay. Thunder is asking, do you think adding in-game squad uh, voice over IP uh, would make the game better or worse? Pros and cons? Ah, I'd love to. Get, I don't know if we already have data from the what the players would want, but uh, I know I would love to have a uh, voice over IP uh, dedicated solution. That's not something we... Uh, uh, we can integrate immediately right now, but uh, personally, I think I would enjoy being able to talk with my squad. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I'd love to know how important this is for the for the community. Right. Because the, uh, the reason why I'm asking is because, of course, you can always have your Discord channel or uh, use another uh, uh, VoIP uh, mm -hmm. channel with your, uh, uh, you know, friends or mm -hmm. or uh, clan, and that might be enough. I don't know. Mm. Uh, Uh, so there's a karate crow. Uh, karate crow is asking, uh, what is the ratio of bearded staff to non-bearded staff at Rato? I yes. think it's about 150 to one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, a lot of people have beard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, R2GY is asking, will you ever update your game wiki page? A lot of yes. stuff is missing. Yes, it's a disgrace. I'm so unhappy about this uh, wiki page. But you know that it's actually community driven right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so is. you should yeah. be able to go and make changes if you know things about the game. Maybe I shouldn't say that, I don't know. 
but um, we we are talking about this and we want this page to be better we want it to be um, updated and right now again uh, it's hosted somewhere that is not ours and it's supposed to be managed by the community am i saying something stupid or That's not correct. Uh, okay they, they can always reach out to community managers yeah if you want to participate in updating this wiki which is so behind uh, please reach out to your community managers that would be awesome to help us there mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, none, yeah. of, none of these are Maybe questions. Maybe another three, max, because yes. we are out of time and it's about 100 degrees here. Yes, let's do that. Uh, uh, oh, well, uh, CoolY0314 is asking, uh, will there be a damage model for when your vehicle gets damaged instead of the current one in the prototype server that shows uh, everything with... Uh, Everything with 100 out of 100 hit points, I guess, obscuring most of my screen. Uh, that's debug. Data. Yeah, it that's is debug. It's <laughs> debug. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Marking mechanics. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yes. Ennett, what is that? Ennett Winterhoof is asking, will we get a better marking mechanic? Uh, and he means spotting. Ah, spotting, yeah. It's a pain in the ass to mark tanks or anyone I, I really. I don't have actually uh, yeah. an answer on that. Do you, do you know, guys, if you're working on it? No. But Sorry, is, uh, we can follow up. Uh, yeah. We can note the, these questions. Yes, um, By the way, the question that, that, that we think are uh, objectively uh, valuable to the community to answer and that we didn't have time to answer today, we will make a point to answer them in the forum uh, in due time, right? As much as we can. So you guys get a f uh, follow up on that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we still have uh, are you talking about uh, Blackoff 556? Are you talking about the prototype server or the live server? Next. Oh, uh, yeah, the server down for maintenance uh, issue. Yeah, that, that some people right. see server down for maintenance when the server is not down for maintenance, but unfortunately, that's ah. uh, it's most likely it's a caching issue that's on their ISP side. Ah, okay. It's not really something we can do anything about, unfortunately, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are your plans about the HNG Android yeah, app? A question uh, from Mosquito, Mosquita. Mosquita Zero. Uh, I think, so I sense that this person, this player, refers to an old app that you guys had on mobile. Yeah. I don't know if it was on a, only on, a, on a Android or it was on both Android and iOS. Both? Okay. Uh, I mean, if you ask me, I think it would be formidable for us to have this uh, like companion app on mobile specifically for the strategy side of the game. Uh, right now, uh, story of our lives, we don't have time to take care of it. But in 2019, I would love to tackle that. Absolutely. That would be great. Next. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Papunidis uh, Greece is asking, can you make spawn, spawn protection, protection for pilots? For pilots? They don't pilots spawn in their plane? They spawn in their plane. The thing is that Immediately some, some they people are... know where to wait for them. More or ah. less. So, so some people get... Isn't it random? More or less. Uh, I, I guess some very experienced pilots can get a very good feel of where where people will be appearing. Okay. Uh, that, that's, again, it's a game design question. Yep. Uh, uh, can we ask that question to Reto Redbarn? Uh, yes. Redbarn. Redbarn. <laughs> Yes. Um, Barberousse? No, no, that's a different. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, Ferme Rouge. Yeah. Bien le Rouge. Okay. Uh, uh, spawn protection. Yes. And uh, should we call it uh, the last one? One more. One okay, more. let's one pick more. the best one. Yeah, something that is... Oh, well, apparently... Is it the bottom? Is Did we the reach bottom? the bottom? Yes. Uh, can I see the list of questions as well? In the feed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too small for if me. You want, uh, I can't see. You can oh, see it here. here. Okay. Uh, I think it would be a shame to, to close with one... System. Maybe that one? Or the squad, I don't know. Do we, uh, yeah. yeah the squad system can be improved, we know that, and uh, we, uh, I don't think we're looking at that right now, but um, yeah. uh, we will. Yeah. Armor 2.0 coming out, this is the vehicle uh, yes. 
upgrade that we are talking about. It's, it includes armor and more things. It's, did we say when it was going to be? We hinted at August. We'll do our best to hit it in August, right? Yeah. Uh, expect it towards the end of August rather than the beginning of August. But uh, that's the plan right now, mm. as it stands. I should probably not have said that, but <laughs> that's, that's what I would like the team to do. And hopefully we can get that done. Right. All right. Let's call it a day. I think. Cool. Yes. So, uh, if you missed, uh, if you missed, if you missed, mished. If stop if you, mishting. If, if you missed, mished. if you missed the beginning, if you missed the beginning of this, uh, you can watch it on YouTube tomorrow. We'll, we'll upload it on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow us right there on Twitch. There's a follow button right there uh, to uh, keep uh, you know uh, receiving alerts when we come online uh, with uh, more dev streams. We are we are going to do more dev streams uh, in the not too distant future. Um, we can also follow uh, us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on YouTube. And of course, you can find us on our website, heroesandgenerals.com. So until next time, I will wish you a very pleasant week and uh, a great summer if you're on vacation. Thank not. you for your time, everybody. <laughs> yes. Thank Have you for the day. great questions.